I was youngish. I was probably fifth or sixth grade. You know, the school I was going to had to start doing some projects on this shit. And, and I was like, wait, 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 wait. It was basically this feeling of everything has to stop and why is nobody doing anything immediately right this second. I remember it feeling very heroin. It was like existential dread at 10. You don't really have the capacity for that kind of paradigm shift. You know, so that's when you start building your defense mechanism to then live in society as it is. Right. Right? The world is not what you thought it was. And trusting the structure of that which is holding the society together is a lie, but you still have to fucking go to school tomorrow. Trigger points are despair and rage and terror. You go into shutdown and you don't even know that you're there. I think the kinds of feelings that lead to action are feelings of connection, feelings of agency, confidence. But I also think that it's unfair to say that anger and despair and terror only lead to stasis. It's kind of shocking what a small group of people can do with some well-placed rage. It's a very tightly regulated yeah. emotion. People who are good at mobilizing it and yeah. at manufacturing it are the ones that get things done.